now that we've received any data inside of the body of a post, uh, we want to do something that's actually a little bit more relevant to daily you know, API life, which is receiving JSON in a post. It's kind of important. So let's, let's once again set up our uh, Thunder client request and uh, figure out how we want this to work. Uh, I'm going to do another mirror, but it's going to be for JSON this time. So we're going to start with a post. We've got HTTP host port 3000. Uh, we're going to go to mirror uh, body JSON. In the body, it's just going to be JSON. And I think what we're going to send here is just a simple message. And we can do hello, uh, hello from Thunder Client again. Of course, if I send this, we get a 404 not found because this route doesn't exist. I already have the server running uh, in this instance. So let's at least create the route for this, uh, the route handler for this route. Okay, so start, we're gonna go, don't need you open here, um, handle you first. All right, so we want, mirror body json mod you uh, pub async function mirror body json and we'll use you in here so route mirror body JSON, and I want a post with mirror, uh, mirror body JSON. Okay, you, then I need to bring that in. So use mirror body JSON, mirror body JSON. Okay. There we go. Now, now we're set up and ready to go. We no longer get a 404, but we get a 200, uh, but nothing back. So how are we going to extract the body? Well, uh, in Axum, it's um, it's fairly simple, but we do have to tell it exactly what the body is going to turn into. Otherwise, we're just going to be working with strings and parsing JSON manually, which is no fun. Uh, we can do that using a crate called Surday. If you're not familiar familiar with it, Surday is a serialization deserialization uh, crate. That is wonderful. And uh, especially when paired with Surday JSON, which allows us to work with uh, JSON itself. So let's start by uh, do here, open up routing. Um, we're gonna pull in Surday. So we're gonna do cargo add Surday. I, uh, oh, I want the derive. So we're gonna do a dash F derive. Now notice that I also brought in Surday derive because they're required together, uh, but I didn't need to put that in there. So that dash F is really nice with the cargo add. Okay, excellent. So we have uh, this. Let's now create in mere body uh, JSON. I want to create the type that's going to come in as because we're going to use a special extractor that we can then hand to the type and it will auto figure things out for us. So I'm gonna do a pub struct. These structures need to be public to be used. Um, well, actually, is that true? No, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be public because it's in the same file as this. If it was in a different file, it would need to be public. Um, okay, so we're gonna do a struct. Uh, let's do this as a like mirror, um, mirror JSON. Well, that's what we'll call this. And we know that this has a message and that's going to be a string. And that's it. That's what we have here. Never constructed. Okay. So the type we're going to use here is a JSON. Now that's from, uh, JSON want json this is the 
body essentially your type is json and here we're going to put in the mirror json now that gives us what this is uh, we do need to tell the like if i hit save uh, this should yell at us now in mod saying hey this trait doesn't like it doesn't know how to, what to do with this so let's go back in here and make sure that we derive uh, serialize and deserialize so derive serialize deserialize a uh, private type mirror drive oh so i was wrong you do need to make this one public these uh can be remain private so obstruct mirror json Okay, excellent. Now I'm not using this. Let's also implement debug for this. And we'll do an extra step in between getting everything working by debugging this to the terminal to sort of see what we have here. So I'm going to do a debug for body. And let's, um, let's throw in a to do it will crash. Uh, when we try to run this, which is gonna be fine, I just want the debug to work before it crashes. Now, uh, this is going to appear here when I run it. Well, specifically appear here. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller, come over to our request. And I wanna see when I hit you. All right, I got this message. Hello from Thunder Client. Okay, so we can actually see this in the terminal, we are able to extract the body from JSON, or at least we have it in a struct format, as opposed to the raw string that is JSON. Okay, great. Now I want to send this back to Thunder Client though. That is going to be us doing this, returning. Well, Returning JSON is very similar to extracting out again. Uh, I can just do JSON and pop in the body. Expected unit type that I found a JSON. Oh, um, construct JSON, mirror JSON. Uh, is that true? Oh. Wrong, wrong type. I was with the wrong language. Um, okay, so you are, cannot find body in the scope. Here's your body. Your body here. Oh, consider dereferencing this type. Okay, so it's not really happy. Now, what if I want to recreate mirror JSON? Like, uh, most often we have maybe like some something else. Let's, um, well, I'll do that in a second. So if I dereference you to make you happy. Can I find value body in the scope? Here's body. Oh, I put this in the wrong place, didn't I? Ah, I had I had the colon correctly here. I want to return here body. And you are mirror JSON. Exactly the same thing. There we go. And I want not not body, I want JSON. What am I doing? Okay, so type mirror JSON cannot be dereferenced. I don't want to dereference it. There we go. This should now send back exactly what we're expecting. So if I hit send, here we go. We have our JSON coming back. It is this message. Hello from Thunder Client. Uh, if I look at this Thunder Client, let me see the raw. I don't know if it does. I can just copy this. Uh, well, this is now the JSON that's coming back. That's great. What if I want something slightly different though? What if I want to send back not exactly this mirror JSON, but a different, a different struct? So let's do a pub struct. Um, we'll call this mirror JSON response. And you can have maybe, maybe we have a message, which is a string, and maybe we just have some something else like um message from server that's also a string now i want to return the 
mirror response json uh first of all this doesn't match it okay so i want to now create this mirror response json the message is going to be body dot message we extract that out uh message from server well we can create this to just be whatever we want so hello from axum and we'll to own this this is great but our mod.rs is yelling at us now saying hey this doesn't work and that's because we forgot to put a serialize on this mirror json response it needs to serialize because when it's going out it needs to turn it from a rust struct into a string so let's derive uh, serialize that's all I need. I shouldn't need the deserialize for this. The mod is no longer unhappy for us. And if we come back to here and we hit send, there we go. We have our message coming back and with the hello from Axum. So these are a way for us to extract the, the JSON from the body out, create brand new JSON or manipulate it or, or just some other object, and then send that out back to the client. Now it's gonna feel a little bit odd having potentially two different structs, one for incoming data and one for outgoing data. Uh, in my testing and sort of playing around with Axum, I haven't found a good way that I like to have, like to combine them together into a same thing. So I, I do think that this is gonna be the best practice at least for a while, which is to have two different structs. It allows you to really tightly focus uh, what what exactly data you're coming in as. There's a little bit of type validation too, because if I were to send something that can't become a string, then it would yell at me and uh, it wouldn't be able to uh, deserialize that into the struct and that would potentially crash the server unless I handled it uh, properly. Um, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.